Hi, I'm Joe Joyner. We're on the porch again, and I'm very, very pleased and proud and honored to have two of our members of our board of trustees join us today. And we want our Flagger family to get to know our, our board a little bit better. And so we're we joining us today is Dr. Kathleen Deegan, who's a trustee, and also uh, Mark Bailey, who's a longtime trustee. So, uh, Kathy, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been a trustee? Okay, well, I'm a relative newcomer to the board. I've been a trustee now for three years. And before I became a trustee, I taught for nearly 40 years at Florida State University and the University of Florida in archaeology and in lots of my classes that were here in St. Augustine teaching people how to dig. Right. Uh, we included Flagler students, and so we've had a, I've had a long collaborative relationship with the students, and I was just delighted to be able to be a larger part of Flagler. We're, a, we're honored to have you. So Mark, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm not quite as distinguished as your <laughs> fellow trustee, but we, um, uh, I'm very proud that, uh, I feel like I've been a part of the Flagler College family my entire life as dad became a trustee in 1971 when Lawrence Lewis reorganized the college and brought on uh, Mr. Ochter and Daniel and Mr. Ringhaver. And, and so for the majority of my life, I, I felt like I have been a part of the, the community. I became a board member in May of 2010, so right. I'm coming up on my my tenure anniversary, right. and um, it's I'm just very very proud to be involved in the college. Well, we're we're proud of everything that both you and your family have, have meant to Flagler College. So, a lot of people don't know what a trustee does. Uh, what does a board member do? What what are some of the decisions that you make, and what is what is your role at the college? What I've learned is that. The Board of Trustees basically makes policy, but I think our responsibilities are, are first, of course, to make sure the uh, school is solvent and, and can continue, and also that our policies work to provide the most excellent education we possibly can. Right. And I think it's important for the Board of Trustees to uh, represent the college and the community, too. Absolutely. And Mark, I know you've been through it 10 years, so you've been through a lot of decisions and growth in the college so from your perspective what is a trustee's role? In the big picture I think we're here to help guide the, the leadership of the college and obviously we have the, the right yeah. team in place to, to do that and I think most important we need to lend our, our wisdom and experience uh, to that leadership. We, we talk a lot about the, the challenges um, both again in a you know macro um, uh, view as well as the day-to-day -day challenges that you have. Well thank you. you know I know uh, trustees do also uh, give us a lot of support particularly when we're uh, beginning new programmatic changes and new majors and, and new initiatives at the college and I know Dr. Deegan um, you have been um, integral in our establishment of our archaeology major based on your background and, and tell us a little bit about where Flagler is, is going with, with that and, and your involvement. I've always seen Flagler College as the natural place for undergraduate archaeology training. Uh, we have an amazing history and prehistory here in this region and great facilities and the students I think really have wanted to do that. We've had many of them try to uh, join up with our University of Florida teams and it's worked out really well. So we have tried to uh, begin establishing a lab, establishing a scholarship fund for students, and I think it uh, is a natural and that it will grow. I just want it to be part of that. So the core value that we're celebrating this month is transformative learning, and so a uh, big part of our strategic plan is the academic end and the student experience end uh, academically. So what does that mean to you, transformative learning? Well, I think there's a big difference between just receiving information and learning it that way, sitting in a classroom, hearing things, and then, or being part of it, participating in a project or an outing. When students make that shift from just receiving to owning what they're doing, I think they take responsibility, and that really does transform the way they see themselves right. in relation to everyone else in the world and it is transformative they think differently yeah, and it's the best form of learning and of course you include uh, all those experiences outside the classroom those high-impact practices study abroad study away 
we're focusing on community-based learning where our students go out in the community and do internships and apprenticeships and mentorships, all that's important. So what do you think, Mark? Well, I was thinking about the, the presentations that we've had at the board with faculty and, and students and how impressed we all were with the students and the ability that they were given to be in a, an environment where there was dedicated, sustainable um, a partnership between the educators and the student. True transformative learning. Well, thank you both for joining us today. It's, it's been a pleasure and a, and a great conversation. Wow. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Thank you.